Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Baldi. <laughs> he is lost to me. The forge is destroyed. Because of him! I mean it this time, man. When we get out of here, I'm out. I need you to respect that. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Next up, is your Codex <sighs> device making you sick? A new study. Eight or nine rounds, then uh, we find oh, Hawk. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. Earlier today, reports came in of a deformed monster rampaging across the galaxy, attacking planets at random. It appeared as if the creature was able to draw life out of innocent bystanders without even touching them. Your time is up, Star-Lord. <coughs> I will hunt you down to the ends of the galaxy. I shall destroy nowhere. <coughs> then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you anywhere. Death is coming, Peter Quill. Holy crap. I can't believe the team just ditched us when we've got this planet nuking lady to deal with. Perfect timing. Now we gotta deal with Hala as a death monster with a gun that can blow a hole in a planet. On our own. Just you wait. They'll be crawling back to us in no time. I don't know, Quill. They were all pretty damn pissed when they left. Guardian's gone. Drax dead. And Hala just seems to be getting stronger. Yeah, the last couple of days have gone from being a pile of crap to a pile of crap on fire. <sighs> but even with all that, I just want you to know, I believe in you, man. I mean, you always figure something out. That's why I stuck around. I can't blame a guy like you for trying. Thanks, Rocket. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta believe in something. You're the closest thing to me right now. There's only one way we can stop her. We need to get the Guardians back together. Peter! We have to get the Guardians back together! Groot? What are you doing here? I am Groot! Don't worry. I'm way ahead of you on that one. I am Groot! Oh no. 
This is worse than I thought. I could sense that remnants of the forge still existed. They must be inside of Hala. It appears where the forge granted life, Hala can now take it. With every life she claims, she'll gain more power. We're doomed. Are you friggin' kidding me? I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh, great. This just keeps getting better and better. There's nothing better about this. The Eternity Forge is highly unstable. It would be extremely toxic to Hala. It's likely that she needs to kill to keep herself alive. So you're saying if she stopped killing people... The Forge would consume her. I am Groot. But you have seen what she has become. Hala is too powerful a foe for the Guardians to take on. We took down Thanos. We can totally handle Hala, right guys? <laughs> guys? I am Groot. The Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Mantis, that's not true at all, right? Come on, guys, help me out here. Look, Mantis, you didn't see us at our best. I am Groot. Wait, you want to do what? Groot? wants to show us something. me, man. I'm innocent. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. Yes! And caught red-handed. I'm telling you, I just got one of those faces that looks guilty. I am Groot! Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. Oh, oh boy. Hey! I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. I am Groot, and I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon, and I did hey, not. You take it easy. <clears throat> Knock it off. All right, all right. Make room for one more. I don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me Star Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me, especially you. Definitely not. No. Nope. Well, now you have. Hmm. I am Groot. I don't know. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. 
I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. Mm. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever going to see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I don't need to hear about your ass muscles. I am Groot. Fighting isn't gonna get us anywhere. We need to work together. Hey, to admit it, Stash Lord is right. We're fighting the wrong people. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear hmm, this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not hmm. below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, you're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction. So that, uh, knife lady can kick the guards' asses until they're unconscious. And what are you doing while we do all the- You rooks. <gasps> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> A couple of you might die, but know that I will never forget you. Or we could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Escape. You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship, but escape will do. together I never knew you're not a team or a family or friends in the conventional sense yeah it was all the mustache Peter I don't think that's it we've all forgotten how much we need each other but we can still be like that again we're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. And let's go get them back. I am Groot! Gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. 
She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! minds this is inside my mind it seems kind of empty I've never shared this with anyone before and you didn't die or anything this is amazing I wasn't sure it would work but it did well I'm just happy that uh, you're happy Mantis I am happy isn't this so neat this island here represents your subconscious mind Peter and those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh, bridge? Yes, a bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. Okay. This is weird. This is very, very weird. I suppose it would be for someone who has never experienced it before, but doesn't that make it kind of fun? If we can reach your friend's islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Was that on this plane emotions are able to take physical form those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings if we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team they will be easier to find we went halfway across the galaxy hmm we went halfway across the galaxy Yes, Peter? So? What do I do now? Each memory, each emotion, will help build a bridge. You should gather more memories until we can find a path across. So is this what your mind's like all the time? Not always. Sometimes I can create my own little world to live in. I come here whenever I feel overwhelmed. I've been able to hone my powers during the centuries I was imprisoned. It was my only refuge during those times of darkness. Hey, I'm sorry we made you feel uncomfortable before. I didn't mean to cause you any pain. Thank you, Peter. I know I said some things I regretted as well. But everything's going to work out. I know it. Okay. Gotta keep feeling stuff. Good luck. We went halfway across the galaxy. We went halfway across the galaxy? Got chased by that psycho holla for a party trick? Got a big, big problem. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. Sense. 
Clearly, I got my revenge. That's curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You... You can sense Drax, but... Drax is dead. I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovart. This is very unsettling. But please keep trying. But he was also my friend. He was. He was a monster. Yes. But he was also my family. Doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by a storm fan. I... Hey, I was surrounded by a door and fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Your emotions towards Rocket are extremely complicated and varied. is somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. emotions that you feel towards Gamora. Yes, Peter? Okay. Gotta keep feeling stuff. Good luck.
this is... What the hell does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! No. Drax, oh god, I feel terrible. We all thought Drax was dead. We may have assumed too quickly. Oops. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. In spite of everything you've been through, Rocket cares about you a great deal. He must really value your friendship to remain at your side. I'm glad he stuck around. He's a good friend. I suspect that is why he stayed. He knows how well you two get along, how much you need each other. So we found Rocket. What now? There are other bridges that you've built. You should see what's on the other side. been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? Maybe because it's the only home she's known. She never stuck around anywhere before she joined the Guardians. To be alone in the world, it's not easy. Rocket stayed with us, so that island will probably show us the Milano. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can, but I'm an empath, so that is to be expected. Wait, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Don't worry, Peter. This is a safe space. It doesn't feel very safe. So, I guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Let's go grab Drax. Let's go! Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You, you did, that worm was, that was, you came out of it. Like you were inside it, and then you, you came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill? <sighs> yes! I mean, no! Maybe! 
navy. I mean, that worm was freaking huge. <sighs> I suppose your doubt is understandable. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? I don't know. Maybe this means that you moved on from your loss. If that is true, then it is as I had feared. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kumaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I do not know how to proceed. I don't think that's true at all. Your memories of your family will last forever. Kamaria will always be a part of you. That is impossible. She is not a part of me. She is dead! Oh, I am not used to being afraid of anything. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try. Okay, I know you wanted to die. But that kind of attitude, it's not healthy. You need to give up on this ridiculous death wish. Death is the only solace I thought I could find. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family... I don't think Kamaria would want you to get yourself killed just so you could see her. You can't just give up, Drax. There is so much left to live for. I always taught Kamaria to persist, no matter how daunting the adversary. I will fight this fear, and I will defeat it for her. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Yeah, well, it's what's on the inside that counts. The inside is also atrocious. <gasps> How dare you? Expecting any calls today? Starlord! Ah! I do not know how you escaped the shrine, but there is nowhere you can run to now. You and your guardians will suffer greatly for what you have done. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? You know who this is. Hala the Accuser! Everyone you've ever known, everyone you've ever loved. 
Yeah, no. You you definitely have the wrong number. She hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me. You're unbelievable, Quill. I am Groot. Yeah, you said it. Did Hala always look that... gnarly? It's as I said. The Forge is taking its toll on her. Yeesh. If she's coming from nowhere, we've got a hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? Meh. I'm sure I'll think of something in a moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. I'm sorry. Are, are you threatening me? Not a threat. A promise. Instead, you keep everyone together! Hala is more powerful than ever. Now Drax is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? I was working up to it. Work up to it faster next time. He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not. He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his... Well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What?! Ah! I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. It's just part of my Star-Lord charm, I guess. Just too good-looking to be unlucky. Oh, you are incorrigible. So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something, anything, at least some semblance of remorse. You're asking if I feel bad? Of course I feel bad. Then why won't you show it? Hey, what do you want from me? You want me to wander around crying? That isn't my style, Gamora. You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. You said it yourself, Gamora. You were kids, just trying to survive. There was no excusing what I did then. How I let Nebula down, how I hurt so many others, will always weigh on me. Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain. Drax revels in his rage. But I don't know how to get past it. All the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. You haven't hurt me, Gamora. Ever. Everyone that gets close to me winds up hurt. If I go back with you, I'll just make it worse. I don't even know why you bothered coming here.
Because you're the only one on the Milano who doesn't drive me completely insane. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Gamora, you're my best friend. I don't want to lose you. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You have to forgive yourself, Gamora. It's the only way you can move forward. Right. You're right. Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. Like this. <laughs> yep. Definitely the same old Drax. Absence does make the heart grow fonder, unfortunately. Welcome home, everyone. I am right. Root says it's so good to see you all. <laughs> Look at you, Peter. Somehow, you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Hey, good times. Yeah. First off, I wanted to apologize. I was acting like kind of a... Jerk? Jackass? Coward? Ooh, ooh, I am Groot? Yes. I am sorry for all those things. I wish I had better news for you, but, uh, things have turned into a bad monster movie out there. Yes. Hala and the Eternity Forge have merged into a singular being. But where the relic granted life, Hala absorbs life. We accidentally created a supervillain. Go team. Yes. We created a worthy adversary. I am impressed with us. She has to be stopped before she strikes again. Hala contacted me. She said this won't end until we're dead or she is. There's only one thing we can do. I'll get the cyanide pills. I am Groot. Fine, fine, I'll just get mine. The Rodan is right. Our chances of victory have not improved since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's got to be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hollow's ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Lattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. 
what you said back at that training hall. I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. Well, uh, thanks for not killing me. Oh, come on. I wasn't actually going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, you could have fooled me. So, what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. So, um... I think that we should, you know, maybe talk. Just to talk about, you know, <laughs> you and uh, me. <laughs> I mean, I just care for you a lot. I know. Oh, you, you do. Uh, okay. Uh, so, how do you feel? Peter, I... Yeah, I, I uh, just, um... Maybe... Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, just... That's the, that's the pin going in the, uh, yeah. This for later. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. We all got a little emotional. You weren't alone in that. Of course, but it is in your nature to be emotional. You are sad and pathetic. I should be above such petty emotions. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. How the hell did you get out of there? Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile, gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged, moist, reeking, victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. Later, Drax. What happens later? How's it going, Bowie? No, oh, it's a good boy. Or girl. Is 
these worms even have a gender? Peter. Is something wrong? No. Well, this isn't the way I imagined the prophecy of the Celestial One to turn out. On one hand, you destroyed the Eternity Forge, which I think was the right call. You do? But on the other hand, Hala is a horrible monster now. <sighs> what if the prophecy is wrong? I'm afraid no matter what I do, I can't escape the Forge. I was sure that when the Celestial One chose the fate of the Forge, I would finally find peace. But I was clearly wrong. And now everything has collapsed. Hey, look at me. We are going to fix this. Okay? Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Was there something you wanted to ask? I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers it was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. How are you holding up? It's... not easy. I can feel every life Hala takes. Now that she's merged with the Forge's power, I'm okay for now. But it takes a lot of energy out of me. Once this is all over, I'll be much better. Once this is all over, what are you gonna do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe I'd like to travel. There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. You cheated. Oh? Would you like a rematch? No. I am Groot. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't stuck. I was just waiting for my dramatic entrance. <laughs> I am Groot. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. Put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am um, Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you. Hmm. I am Groot. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> I, I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his feelings? That actually worked? I am Groot. 
Good one.